Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Grimm. This is Tesseract, but this is the DDH version, Double Dry Hop. So uh, we're going to talk more about Double Dry Hopping, Chill Haze, all that fun stuff, but let's just dig into the beer first. So uh, DDH, they've dry hopped it, or they've hopped it extra with Cryo Hops, which is a new, uh, relatively new product for the market. Um, I believe it's only available for commercial brewers right now, but it's a um, different way in which nitrogen is involved and pretty much less of the vegetal matter of hops are used um, in this product. And this product allows for more volatile oils to uh, be integrated into the beer with less of the, the green uh, plant matter. So beer comes in a medium to deep gold color, uh, medium plus to almost full haze. Let's get the room on this one. And it's mosaic uh, lupulin, uh, lupulin powder, by the way. Mm, very nice, very passion fruity. There's a little bit of that green um, dank character that mosaic has a little bit like herby. But yeah, wonderful, good, sweet, kind of like papaya, passion fruit notes. There's maybe even some, um, what is that? Like tangerine qualities as well. And like spritzes of like lemon too. Oh, sorry, melon. Cheers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so on the palate. Um, I know some people, by the way, have actually been maybe stepping away from Grimm a little bit, like saying like, oh, the beers are not as good or something like that, whatever. This was exactly where I remember my first experiences with Grimm. This is, if you've been like passing up Grimm hoppy beers for some reason, um, you have to get this one. This one is so freaking amazing. It just bursts of sweet, tropical Grimm candy, double IPA flavors up front. Oh, wow. It's like a very intense sweet melon flavor almost like a um, jam-packed intensity of like honeydew cantaloupe combined there's more of that passion fruit riding on a little bit of stone fruit um, maybe a little bit of like nectarine apricot hmm. but yeah <laughs> it is very candy forward and just pushing of, of those tropical fruits melon a little bit of citrus Lots of stone fruit driving throughout. Um, it has a really soft and delicate mouthfeel, creamy in the middle, and then nice and dry on the back end. You're actually not getting too much of that green dang character um, that I was talking about on the aroma. Maybe a little bit, a bit of that just lingering in the background, resonating a medium bitterness. Absolutely fantastic. Mm, we're gonna need this one. Oh my God. As you drink it more, it just bursts of just sweet passion, uh, sweet passion fruit mango, even with a little bit of uh, the sweet pineapple kind of flavor. It's just a melange of uh, absolutely amazing flavors. 99 out of 100, 99 out of 100. This is absolutely amazing. It's like so delicate, well executed. Um, absolutely love it, 99 out of 100, 99 out of 100. So uh, to talk more about the beer, there's actually an interesting conversation about the haze. I, the Grimms have not specifically called out any brewery specifically, but they have a certain respect for what they do in their process in the sense that they allow for a cold crashing and a lot of the just bio, ma just bio mass in the beer to drop out. And so really th this haze is um, mostly chill haze. It's interaction between polyphenols and proteins attaching together. Um, in usually cold temperatures, and that's what you could, that's how you get chill haze. In cold temperatures, the the bonds are or the, the the two molecules are not really moving too much, and they stick together, and that's what forms this appearance of a beautiful haze. And then they, they point out that if you let their beer warms up warm up, it actually falls apart because there's more heat, there's more action, and those bonds end up uh, breaking apart. So those proteins and polyphenols um, aren't sticking together as much, and so they appreciate how they're pulling their haze out. It doesn't look like gravy or um, I don't know, some people like it literally looks like just like the bottom like like true it looks like just yeast in the uh, glass instead theirs has a really nice elegant kind of haze to it it's not full on like looks like grapefruit juice or anything um, it's a very elegant looking beer so really interesting conversation if you want to learn more about chill haze listen to charlie bamforth's article on beersmith if you want to geek out but until next time guys cheers grim's the best grim's the best back in action ddh double dry hop tesseract later cheers Ah, oh, fuck.